two automakers announcing big layoffs across the state, including hundreds right here in mid-Michigan. It's our top story at six. Thank you for joining us. I'm Siobhan Klepfer. And I'm Sherry Jones. General Motors is expected to cut more than 300 jobs starting in January. Officials with the automakers say the layoffs come as the Camaro is reaching the end of its production run. Josh Sanchez is here for you tonight with more on this developing story. Josh. Yeah, that's right. This letter was sent to state and local officials, and it shows that the Lansing Grand River Assembly stamping and Lansing Regional stamping near the Lansing Delta Township plant will be affected. Now, the plan to cut back on those jobs will happen in four phases from January to March, and many of those positions are for stamping and assembly operators. A spokesperson with GM says employees were notified last month, and while the production of the Camaro is coming to an end, Grand River Assembly will still make Cadillac CT4 and CT4 five models. Lansing Mayor Andy Shores reacted to the news tonight, saying that he plans to meet with GM officials about the, their plans in the capital region. He says he expects that the jobs will return with a new product as the new Ultium battery plant comes online. He says, quote, in part, Lansing has some of the absolute best auto workers in the world, and there is a reason that cars have been built here for over 120 years. And that's not the only layoffs coming to GM. The company also announced that more than 900 jobs will be cut at two sites in Lake Orion next year. Jeep maker Stellantis also sent a notice about layoffs in February, affecting more than 2,000 jobs near Detroit. Back to you.